Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for May 6th through the 12th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, future here, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the sacred traveler oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation so let's go ahead and jump right in show me virgo for may 6th through the 12th interesting none of this coming out is your energy so it really feels like somebody tied up to your energy in your immediate past there was having some fun here and taking a little bit of a a risk you know with this page of wands like exploring optimistic wondering what is you know out there for you maybe even talking to somebody um that you know it's like i'm curious about this person um, in your current situation, we have a lot of stress, worry, and anxiety coming out here. Maybe you have things going on, but this just does not feel like your energy here. Um, in the immediate future, we have the three of swords, which is heartbreak or, you know, just suffering of the heart. Like it's something very painful. Um, your advice coming out is the five of cups right here. So this is about looking at what didn't work in the past, but this is also holding on to that past when there's two other cups there. Um, so we're going to have to really clarify and see what's going on. This feels like somebody stuck to your energy, Virgo. I could be wrong, right? You could be going through this hard time, but it just feels like, you know, in this outcome with the three of wands in reverse, um, there's a tired of waiting and things not progressing and moving in the direction um, that somebody wants them to, but it just doesn't feel like your energy. This just feels like somebody who's curious about you, stresses about you, heartbroken over you, things didn't work out in the past, so they're disappointed about it and not reaching out in any way and and they're not waiting they're just kind of in this heartbreak stressful situation let's see what's going on because this is your reading but it looks like somebody is really thinking about you um let's go ahead and clarify that page of wands in the immediate past here Oh, they were chasing after you. See, I knew that. I was like, this is not Virgo's energy. Virgo is pretty like chill. <laughs> so the page of wands is clarified by the nine of swords, the king of wands and the empress. So this page of wands, who's very curious about you and in the immediate past, they're like, they wanted to take a chance, very nervous, but they decided to pursue you because they felt like, oh my gosh, you have it made Virgo. You're everything I could possibly want. You have your life put together. You take care of yourself. You are amazing. That person definitely had a crush on you in the past and decided to share their feelings with you. There's some worry here in the current situation that and it really feels like them because they were already nervous and stressed about pursuing you, like hoping they don't get it wrong. So let's see what's going on. Hmm. 
<clears throat> so the nine of swords is clarified by the ten of pentacles the moon the ten of wands and then the emperor um, comes out at the bottom of the deck this person is very stressed about what appears to be meeting your family they don't know what to expect they feel like there's so much hidden or they're hiding something like they don't know what to expect does your family like me are they going to like me i don't know and I do get that this person does have a secret that they're carrying that's very heavy on their mind and it, they want to share it with you, but they are putting some boundaries there with sharing things with. Now, here's the other thing. They could be worried about like you meeting their family. Family to them, they're keeping secrets because there's things in their life like maybe they don't have a great relationship with their family, um, but they're also very nervous about meeting your family. And um, building there's nervousness, like worrying about building a relationship and then finding out some secrets later on, which weighs heavy on them. Do they have what it takes? Can they be that emperor for you? Can they be, match your energy on the same level? It feels like they keep working really hard, um, to prove that they can, but there's a lot of worry that they don't match your level in some way let's go ahead and clarify this three of swords here also they feel like you have boundaries with them um, that are put in place this just really feels like somebody who is a wanting you but not with you so it almost comes out like a fantasy of theirs where they're still living in their altered reality that you and this person are together or in some way you still feel something for them because in the immediate future we have this pain you know this heartbreak here feeling heartbroken um we have the two of swords or i'm sorry the two of wands the king of swords and the eight of swords the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck see that's telling me that this person is feeling this heartbreak here because um they want to talk to you, but then they're like, no, I'm too busy. I don't, I, I have to stick to work. And they're really in their head. They start overthinking things when it comes to opening up their feelings. They're very closed off. If you're expecting this person, I, I don't know if some of you are actually seeing this person right now, but if you're dealing with someone Virgo who is not very open with their emotions, they're not going to open with their emotions because they feel heartbroken by everyone. They go through a painful situation and wanting to tell you they still stop themselves from doing so they just tell themselves like I don't have time for that I don't have time to explain my feelings to Virgo or what's going on I'm just going to shut down and so they become very defensive and guarded from opening up to you um, and it does feel like this person is someone from your past as well because you know things didn't work out in the past and because it didn't they can't get over you know you but i'm also getting if you're dealing with this person they're still feeling some kind of like oh my heart is just still too broken and you know i loved somebody once upon a time it didn't work out and they stay in doubt that things would work between the two of you so they keep their heart guarded they don't let you in and it's all about the fact that they're like well it didn't work out before so why try now well, then why are they even dealing with you? Why are they even dating anyone? Why are they trying to find love if they're going to feel that love is a loss, you know? So let's clarify that five of cups for your advice. Whew, yeah. yeah, Virgo, I'm seeing that for those of you um, dating this person or with this person, it it doesn't really go anywhere. And so your advice is saying this is a loss. This is going to be a disappointing situation for you. I'm sorry to say it like that. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I just got to, you know, be honest in the readings. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, they love you. It's so amazing. Um, I'm not going to do that. But what I do see is that this situation here, um, there it, it's time to say goodbye to it because it's not going anywhere. You have other options out there. It's okay to speak your truth, do what's best for you and even initiate this. Like I got to go, I'm out of here. Um, you know, because 
this person staying stuck in the past. So if you're dealing with someone that is staying stuck in the past, not opening up their heart to you, you're being told to start, you know, uh, moving in a different direction towards other options because there's somebody out there who really is this king of cups that wants to open up their heart, be supportive, be there for you, let you know how they feel, tell you they love you, you know, do nice things for you. This king of swords energy, that's somebody just too busy for love they're they just they're not that kind of person they're not built that way um they may never open up to truly saying like i just love you so much you know but um if this is somebody from your past that advice is also saying that this person isn't over you even though they're exploring other options they still manifest you they still think of you and they feel like oh well you found somebody else and they don't necessarily know the truth but they want to know if you're with somebody else or how you feel about them without actually saying anything because they don't open up and say anything they're just stuck in their mind about it so let's go ahead and clarify this three of wands in reverse for your outcome Whether this is somebody from your past or somebody you're currently dealing with, Virgo, that is closed off, this is not going anywhere. There is no progression here at this time because this person is really stuck in fear. Um, they have a toxic attachment to their past of things not working out that they can't let go of and it makes them very, very guarded. Um, and so they don't open up. Even though they find you to be amazing if you're dealing with this person and they started to pursue you, then they started to get nervous about like meeting family, you know, doing things where it goes into a relationship because they're like, I just have a lot on my plate. And what they're not telling you is the fact that they don't open up to feelings. They don't open up to relationship stuff. And it feels like it doesn't work for them um, because they're always so busy with keeping themselves occupied with work. <laughs> That's really their focus. But we have the devil. We have the four of pentacles and the emperor. Yeah, very much so guarded here. This person's stubborn. They're not going to change. You know, they have a lot of boundaries in place and it's because they can't let go of certain things that they feel were bad for them in the past. But that's where they're holding themselves in this obsession that everything is going to be that way. When really, look at that queen of wands right here. Yeah, you look awesome. You are definitely someone that anyone would want to be with and that could also trigger them to be jealous as well. Just so, you know, and if this is somebody from the past, things aren't going anywhere. I don't see this progressing or them showing up. They realize that it's not good, but they can't let go of you. They obsess over what you two had that they're still holding on to that, but yet they're not saying anything. Um, and they, they like watch you or think about you, possibly look at pictures or even messages from when you two were together. Ha, <laughs> ha, It just really took up your reading. So, <laughs> but I do have two different situations. So, you know, some of you are dealing with somebody who's really closed off. There's also the fact that just like in the past, um, where you were with somebody that was not very open and it ended up being a very unhealthy relationship or situationship, this one is no better, but there's something better ahead. You just have to do what's right for you. Create that balance and initiate like moving on, looking and exploring other options. Don't stay stuck in a situation that's not good for you because there is that king of cups out there. There is somebody who really wants to show you love and is not afraid for the world to see. Like this person will kiss you in public, you know, if you want that. Um, they will just tell you sweet nothings, but they'll also be there for you. If you ever need someone who is, you know, on your side through the good, the bad, the ugly, that king of cups is going to be the one that you want because they're going to show you all the support that you need and good, bad, and the ugly and the wonderful, you know? So let's go ahead and get some messages for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, your messages don't want to come out. Am I shuffling too fast, maybe? No, there's one. It's like just that one. No, I want one more. This is a complete Virgo energy that comes out, thank goodness. 
So I'm like, somebody just keeps taking over your reading. I don't know what's going on. It's about you. It's supposed to be, well, it is about you. And I feel like this is more about you needed that enlightenment. You needed to know if you're wasting your time in a current situation or why the heck, you know, somebody from your past keeps popping up in your mind or you're having dreams about them. Um, so yeah, cause they're still stuck on you. <laughs> so stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. It's okay to initiate like, bye, gotta go. Can't stay in this situation before you become too disappointed with this going, why did I, you know, stay in this? Go explore those other options. Tell this person like, I'm sorry, I gotta go. We're done. Um, don't let them have power over you and don't let the past person have power over you. And if this is a particular type that you like, date or find you, you got to do something to change it up in some way. I know that's hard. Like date somebody you would never date and see where that goes. So breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. So you're about to have those answers. Also, I feel like with, I, we're just going to say it's like a wheat field. Um, you know, I feel like with this overgrown vegetation here, it feels like it's just getting higher and higher and you're feeling surrounded and enclosed in and just like, what the heck is going on? Well, you are taking that, I guess as a scythe, is that right? I think that's what that is. Um, and chopping it down. And the more that you keep doing it, you're going to start to see that there's a breakthrough. You're going to see the green fields and it's going to be clear and you're going to be like, oh, finally breathe again. It's going to feel good. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.